From the bleachers to the end zones, Brit Irons up and down the coast. Live from the largest sports team on local television, this is Friday Football Focus. Often imitated, never duplicated. Welcome to the original Friday Football Focus. I am Mike Clan. It's the playoff edition. Highlights from Fresno to Los Angeles. But we're going to kick it off at La Playa Stadium in Santa Barbara. Bishop Diego, home to Redondo Union, first round Division 7 game. A young Cardinals team won their last three games to secure a playoff bid. Early action gave Villa. He made several big plays in this game. 37-yard run into Seahawks territory. The big O, Oscar Maia, 215-pound sophomore running back, 24-yard touchdown. Cardinals up early, 7 to nothing. But the Cards, their own worst enemy at times. Following a fumble deep in their own end, Redondo Union ties it up. Nicholas London touchdown, 7 to 7. Moments later, Redondo Union comes up with an interception. Colin Kelly, he's got the pick. And the Seahawks get right back into the end zone. London to Max Osmus. Touchdown, PAT block, 13-7 after one quarter. Second quarter, to Rojas, gonna throw across his body, and he finds Gabe Villa with a big first down. Now, Thomas Gags trying the first field goal of the season for the Cardinals, according to the radio broadcast, and he makes it from 29 yards out. Bishop down 13-10 at the half. Late third quarter, same score, Cards set up a nice screen pass, Isaiah Kitt, huge gain down the sidelines. Fourth quarter, same drive. Cardinals going to take the lead with eight and a half minutes to go. Rojas, 28-yard touchdown pass to John Michael Flint. Cardinals up 20 to 16, but Redondo Union would tie it at 23 late to force overtime. Bishop would lose a heartbreaker in two overtimes. Final score, 29 to 23. The Cardinals in their year, four and seven. Very young team. They should be real good next year. Well, a storm was brewing in Santa Fe Springs. The Santa Barbara Golden Tornado rolled into St. Paul High School for a CIF Southern Section Division IV playoff game. SB entering the game, riding a seven-game win streak, and they were a perfect 5-0 on the road. Opening drive of the game, Abel Renteria finding Jaden Reed for the first down near midfield. Leads to a 40-yard field goal by Tiago Valerio. Three-nothing Golden Tornado. Santa Barbara getting the ball right back. Jordan Mitchum, the interception, and the Golden Tornado setting up shop deep in St. Paul territory. Santa Barbara cashes it in for a touchdown. Abel Renteria to Winston Bartley, 10-0 lead. Swordsman scored a touchdown on a long run, 10-7 after one quarter. Second quarter, Renteria back to Bartley, right near you. Big gain leads to another Valerio field goal, 13-7 Santa Barbara at halftime. Third quarter, Santa Barbara down by a point, but they're gonna retake the lead. Koa Herrera, the homecoming king, touchdown run, it's 20-14. Late third quarter, Swordsman go back in front, Anthony Osorio touchdown. They lead 21-20 headed to the fourth quarter. This one going back and forth, Santa Barbara gonna go back in front near the goal line. Yeah, that's Abel Renteria territory. That's a touchdown run. They wait a while, and they're going to finally give them the score. It's 26-21. So Santa Barbara now in the fourth quarter going to go for two. Renteria to Kai Malt. He's got it. So the Golden Tornado up 28-21. But with under two minutes left, St. Paul tying the game up. Touchdown catch by Orlando Zapata. This game went to overtime. Each team scored a touchdown. So now we're in the second overtime. The Swordsman passing, and after the catch, how about DJ Wilson stripping the ball? It's a fumble, Don's have it. So now it's Santa Barbara's turn and Renteria gonna smash over for a touchdown. Ain't no party like a golden tornado party. The celebration is on. Yeah, the Santa Barbara Don's, the Santa Barbara golden tornado, whatever you wanna call them, call them good. 41-35, SB improves to nine and two in a year. They're going to host Corona Del Mar at home in a quarterfinal game. The Channel League champion Pacifica Triton finished the regular season 10-0, but it was not a perfect ending. Several Pacifica and Oxnard players suspended after a massive brawl following last Friday's rivalry game. The shorthanded Tritons opening up the playoffs at home against Cajon in a Division III round one game. We pick it up in the first quarter. It was a slow start for the Tritons, and it's the Cowboys getting the first big play. Quarterback Evan Powell. 
keeps it himself, takes off down the middle straight in the end zone. Two-point conversion is going to be no good. So Cajon's up early, 6-0. Second quarter now, more Cowboys. Howe finding Isaiah Holly, And check out the speed on Agent Zero. Down the sidelines and just short of a touchdown before getting tripped up. A couple plays later, Lee Medeiros all alone in the end zone. Cowboys touchdown. This time, they're going to go for two and get it. And the Cowboys lead 14-0 at Pacifica. Tritons 10-0 for a reason. Here they come. Dominic Duran, Isaiah Estrada. He's going to make a few Cowboys miss. And he puts the Tritons in scoring position. That's going to lead to a Philip Kim 16-yard touchdown run. Tritons down 14-7 right before the half. More Pacifica. Isaiah Dillon has the ball. Get out of the way. He stays in bound. 77 yards to the house. Pacifica now up 17 to 14, but that was the last time they would take the lead. Cajones came to play. Isaiah Holly blazing past the Tritons on this one, and it's another Cowboys touchdown. Yeah, Pacifica falls to Cajon. Final score 27 21. Pacifica ends a fantastic year 10 and 1. All Ventura County matchup in Newbury Park. Brady Smigel and the top-seeded Panthers hosting the Ventura Cougars in a Division Five Round 1 game. Tony Omanza has our game highlights. Hey, Mike. Both Newbury Park and Ventura finished the regular season strong. Ventura won their last three games, and Newbury Park their last two. Both these teams sit at 7-3 and three overall, so we should be in for a good game. Let's get to those highlights. Both the Cougars and the Panthers are looking to advance to the next round. The winner of this game plays the Foothill Knights next week. Ventura took no time to find the end zone on just their third offensive possession. Derek Garcia finds McKenna Arndt, and he outruns the defense on a 51-yard touchdown. Ventura strikes first, 7-0 game. The Panthers now on offense. Brady Smigel finds Shane Rosenthal for a nice game, and that moves the drive for the Panthers. And Smigel finds Rosenthal again, and that touchdown even the score at seven. The Panthers back on offense. Jackson McKenney takes the handoff and is able to get to the outside, but just gets tackled around the 10-yard line. And that nice run set up this play. Smigel to London Bell, and Bell with an incredible one-handed catch. Brings it down for the Panthers, and they take the lead. Back and forth in the first half, and Ventura able to drive the ball downfield. And Garcia finds Art in the end zone. That was his second touchdown of the game. But it's Newberry Park that comes out with the win. They beat Ventura 42-30. The Cougars season comes to an end at 7-4. And, and up next for the Panthers, they played the Foothill Knights next week. Mike, back to you. All right, Tony, thanks for making the long drive. Up next for us, Central Section playoff action from Fresno and the Rock, Morro Bay.